Yo guys, today is kind of a special day and I'll tell you why. I am picking up my drum kit for the Poison Tour. The first thing we're gonna do, clear this area so that I can put everything up in my studio so that I can get an idea of how that kit's gonna lay out and get everything dialed in for it. I got my drum tech, this is, this is Kevin. Uh, well, I call him Spidey, but it's a lot of people call him Kibo. Uh, I just say yo. <laughs> yo! Hey! <laughs> We're gonna get started. What I have here is uh, a bunch of boxes that I have set up for my little girl to play in. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move that. This is my practice kit. I'm gonna move that and make room for us to set up the tour kit so that we can get an idea how everything's going to be for the tour. And then we're gonna to go to DW and pick up the kit. So this is a very exciting day. All right, so we cleaned everything up, but what we had to do <laughs> was just kind of make a temporary storage up there. So we're gonna say goodbye to this kit for a little while. Bye. Okay, we're on our way to DW right now, but I have to show you this. We're on a road called Tolan Road. And if you look outside here, that would absolutely look like a hill. And if you look this way, that hill is going down. That hill is going down. I'm going to put this in neutral. You can see it's in neutral. I think you can see it. And let's watch what happens. This is not a trick. Wow. This is the truth. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom now. Yeah, it goes fast. Supposedly, the story is is that the ghosts of the children are pushing the vehicle out of the way. So how was that experience? That was amazing, amazing. <laughs> Blew my mind, I can't believe it. So we are pulling up to Drum Workshop right now. Probably gonna wind up over at the warehouse, but right now we're just gonna pull in here and walk through and I'm gonna go take a leak. Right there is Steve Vega. He's gonna be holding me with the kit today. <laughs> How you doing man? Doing all right man. That's a handshake. How you doing? What's happening? Good to see you. All right. Look at all those shells. Mm -hmm. Wood, 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 I'm a termite. <laughs> Arguably one of the most beautiful woods in the world, Purple Heart. Looks like bacon almost. Really it sure does, doesn't it? Can we open them or should we just put them in the truck, take them home and open them? So I'm going to hit Steve. His back. See, look, my name's on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to fill? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here they come. Okay, so we are back from DW. The drums are right there. So we're gonna take them in and un do an unboxing. 
right? Let's do it. Let's unbox them. This is the actual unboxing. Thirteen stainless. Okay. Come on. So both picks are up, two toms. I'm not used to using drums at an angle. I'm not used to the angle. So it's something I'm gonna have to get used to. I don't know, we're gonna work on it. So guys, the drum kit is together. Pretty much. There's a lot more to do. This need, symbol needs to come up, this needs to come in, this needs to come in. We have to trim things, adjust all sorts of things. But, by and large, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. I think we can probably wrap up my unboxing of my new drum kit for the Poison Tour. Um, I will have updates. Am I making you dizzy? I'm making me dizzy. Anyway, as always, take care of each other and keep rock alive.